President Trump taking another bold step in his fight to secure the border, telling the radical Dems that if they want work to end the crisis, he will move illegal immigrants into sanctuary cities. We could fix that in so fast if the Democrats would agree. But if they don't agree, we might as well do what they always say they want. We'll bring the illegal, really, you call them the illegals. I call them the illegals. They came across the border illegally. We'll bring them to sanctuary city areas and uh, let that particular area take care of it, whether it's a state or whatever it might be. They say we have open arms. They're always saying they have open arms. Let's see if they have open arms. Well, joining us tonight, uh, after a week at the southern border, where he witnessed the lack of security, the chaos surrounding the catch and release policy, and much more, former Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach, who's also general counsel for the nonprofit group We Build the Wall. Uh, Chris, good to have you with us. Uh, your, your sense of you. what's going on at that border uh, after spending some time there. Well, you know, Lou, uh, it's astonishing. The, the crisis is not getting better. It's, it's getting worse right now. And it appears that what's happening is there is an old Obama administration policy that is causing all kinds of problems. It's a policy of giving what's called immigration parole to people who come into the United States mm -hmm. illegally before releasing them. And what that means is once you give them this special status of immigration parole, mm -hmm. then they're eligible for a work permit and they're eligible for welfare benefits earlier than they would be otherwise. So who made and, the decision uh, that means to, that it's, who made the decision uh, to get, who's giving them uh, such parole and at who at whose order and authorization? I don't know where the orders came from, but it, the policy was in effect. It was one of those holdovers, vestiges from the uh, Obama administration. Uh, ICE is the agency, the subcomponent of DHS that would be giving the parole to the alien. But uh, if these reports are correct, that ICE is ICE still giving parole. Our citizenship to and immigration services. So ICE gives the parole, and then if the person wants to get a work permit, he gets it from Citizenship and Immigration Services. So one triggers so, the other. So both and agencies are working on happening. the border right now? These are the agencies that have, you know, yeah. handle immigration uh, all along. And, and this may be an Obama policy that has slipped under the radar uh, and should have been reversed. But now we're seeing the consequences, which is we're giving this huge magnet. And the word is getting out. We're hearing reports from the migrants themselves that they are coming in, mm -hmm. expecting this, uh, to get welfare benefits, food cards, as they refer to them, and they're expecting to get employment authorization. So, so this really demands a further investigation because there's no way we should be giving an incentive so you're to saying these caravans, that are, which are the part of the crisis. You're saying the Department of Agriculture is there, its, its officials, its agents are there giving out EBT cards. Not the D, USDA isn't handing them out in person, but if these individuals get parole and then they are successfully getting EBT cards, they would be filling out a form and sending it to USDA and then getting the cards. Uh, and, and that shouldn't be happening because uh, we, we have a, a it, system of laws that is based on the. You're one of the leading experts in the country on immigration law. Can that be reversed by executive order? Can it be simply countermanded? The, uh, the giving of parole to those individuals who are coming to the country illegally uh, in these caravans, yes, that can be done. That's a policy decision that the Obama administration made. There's no statute that prohibits the Trump is administration from stopping that. There's no regulation. And is parole a condition precedent then to uh, turning over uh, welfare uh, and other benefits then? So, yeah, the parole so allows it would the stop alien both. to then get a work permit. It would stop the work permit and it would stop them getting the uh, welfare benefits early. Otherwise, they wouldn't get welfare benefits until they qualify. They successfully get asylum. But if you get parole, you can get those work benefits earlier. So uh, the, the welfare benefits earlier. What what could be done immediately to turn off the magnet that is drawing these? Uh, I realize it's push and pull, but at least the pull aspect of it. Uh, this magnet that is bringing these these uh, illegal immigrants by the tens of thousands uh, to our border and across our border. 
Yeah, and you and I have discussed this before, Lou. It's not rocket science. First of all, uh, stop the giving of, of issuance of parole to the individuals who are coming in. But most importantly, try to process the claims immediately. Have uh, uh, have processing centers, use, use FEMA trailers. Don't just turn these people loose. And, and here's the other thing, Lou, that I, we didn't mention. Uh, the date they are being given for their asylum hearing, their final asylum mm -hmm. hearing, is not one year. It's not six months. It's five to six years down the road. So we're turning them loose saying, come back in six years. That's not how we should be doing this. We should be having these people sure. have you, uh, in, while they are still there and, then, you, and process their asylum claim right there. Have you communicated all of this to DHS, uh, to the White House, to someone uh, in authority? Because this I is, this and, is and stunning sure stuff. It's, it's extraordinary what's going on. And, and the, the, I know that there are people in DHS who are trying to solve this problem and in the White House who are working uh, yes, to try to get this done. Are. But the, the key is... The key is that you've got to have the agency executing the orders that the White House is giving, and we've got to stop just turning these people loose. When you and say, say come agency, back in six years. are you talking about the Border Patrol agency? DHS, DHS, uh, the department. DHS, then. which includes the Border Patrol, yes. ICE, USCIS, the entire department. Right, which the and, entire department, absolutely. Uh, McAllen is the the president's man there. He's been on the job a few days. Have you communicated it to him? I have not talked to him since he took over. All right. Well, I, I think uh, my audience and I would urge you to do so straight away. Uh, this is uh, in, in, unbelievable uh, what, uh, what we're all contending with. Uh, and we have very little choice here. The president has available to him a, a national uh, emergency declaration and is being stymied by courts, stymied by the radical Dems, the rhinos in Congress and the Senate. At every turn, the, frankly, the, the establishment is uh, doing everything it can in, uh, in cohort uh, with the left-wing activists in this country who are, by the way, working, as you well know, in the Iron Triangle and assembling caravans and driving. This is the uh, push part of this. And pushing these uh, illegal immigrants to our border. Uh, what's it going to take and, to stop and, that? And one other thing, it's one other thing, Lou. You know, in addition to stopping the 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 system we have now that is in free fall, where we're turning people loose, we're giving them benefits, we're giving them employment authorization. Let's remember the wall, too. President Trump has talked about this since before he was president. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was just down there on the border, if you go east from El Paso, you go west from El Paso. Sure, for a little while, you'll see these nice big bollard fences. But then you get into these vast open spaces where there is nothing but a, 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 metal, uh, a metal beam yeah. that is three feet off the ground that you can crawl under or hop over if you want to. So much of our border is wide open, and the president has rightly focused on this and saying we've got to get building that wall. It's, you know, we can do all of these things, but but that wall is so central to the overall scheme. And that wall can be constructed under his national emergency order, can it not? Yeah, it is. And, so and, and my is... understanding is that they're, uh, so, they're, they're moving forward. I just hope if, they're moving as fast as possible. Uh, well, they've changed leadership. Uh, I think it's a pretty clear signal to everyone in the Department of Homeland Security what has to be done. I, I would think that uh, they understand what this president now uh, in, is insisting upon. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we are a country uh, that that border is a, is a flame. Uh, and we have courts that are refusing uh, to, uh, to acknowledge his declaration, his emergency uh, order. Uh, it, it, this, what in the world are we to do with these courts? I, I mean, they're, they are, it, they're operating like they're agents of another country. It's extraordinary. The, the organizations on the left that oppose the enforcement of our immigration laws, they immediately go court shopping. And where they most often go shopping is in California, where they find multiple district yeah, judges it, who yeah. are willing to, to I issue understand, a, a preliminary but what are we injunction to do with the I understand the, the problem. We all know it's the, the border is going to hell yeah. in a handbasket. What are we to do about it? What is this we, president to do about it? Well, well, he's got, fortunately, the courts of appeals, especially the Supreme Court, will keep continue to apply the law. But the problem is our system, it takes so long to get the case in front of the Supreme Court. And Why so the in hell the meantime, does it take so long? It's an emergency, for crying out loud. Do you have a bunch of idiots yeah. in black robes who uh, are going uh, fly fishing rather than taking care of business? 
Is, <laughs> I, I, doesn't a national emergency affect the judiciary? Uh, these august, uh, you know, I mean, John Roberts, the chief justice, who says, claims there is no Obama judge, there is no Bush judge, there is no Trump judge. The only one he's right about, apparently, is there are no Trump judges. <laughs> well, I, I can say as someone who's litigated in front of many of judges that there are quite a few who come into court with an opinion that seems to be uh, one that's already in their mind. But maybe I've just seen a few bad ones. Well, so is, uh, so is the president. So is the nation. Chris Kobach, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Thanks so much.